Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. I'm going to do a voiceover today and I have a 12 by 12 paint pouring canvas that I bought from Michaels. Um, this is a nice canvas, uh, very sturdy. So if you're ever there and would like to check it out, it, it is worth purchasing. And also I am showing you um, some new tools that I bought and I'd like to give a shout out to Tammy Anderson of Tammy Anderson Art. This is a palette knife set and I am going to be using a few of these in my pour today. And I will link um, the site for that uh, palette set in my description. So I am putting down my base coat here and it is regular house paint and I will list all my paints in the description also. It's just white uh, house paint and I did mix a little bit of Floetrol and GAC 800 in, the, in that and I'm spreading it out here. I am using my turntable today. This is just a regular cake turntable but I, I'm using it for my art now. No silicone is used today in any of my paints. And I'm going to do a bottle bottom pour here with a combination of uh, golden paints and color art um, pigments. This is, the, this is a, um, a paint I'm using here first. It's a golden turquoise phalo. These are all leftover paints that I want to use up. And I am going to be using the Bloom Technique with these paints. So these paints, I can tell you, were mixed with one tablespoon of the Vivid Enamel, one tablespoon of triple thick polyurethane, and then I did thin them with Josana gloss varnish. And then to that mixture, I used either one scoop of the primary elements or one teaspoon of the, the golden paint. And here I'm actually adding my topper. Periodically, I'm adding my topper. And I can tell you that my topper is Floetrol to paint is three to one. And I did use the uh, Amsterdam white paint. And I added three drops of mineral oil to that combination also. So here I am back layering, layering my paints. This paint I'm layering right now is an interference violet color made by the primary elements, color art primary elements. No, I'm, I take that back. This is silver. That was the um, golden silver fine. This color is um, jasmine, color art uh, primary elements jasmine. Very pretty color. This color, I believe, is the Ginger Peach. It's another primary element color. And this is the Interference color. It's called Interference Violet. And it is a color art primary element pigment. This color is yellow rose and this is um, very pretty light yellow color. Very sparkly. I'm very happy with the color art um, primary element colors. 
quality is very good. And here I am adding the topper again. It's the titanium white Amsterdam mixed with the Floetrol and the mineral oil. Three, do three drops of the mineral oil. And this, I believe, is the This is this is the teal zircon from the color art primary elements. And there I am adding again the golden um, silver fine. If you would like to leave in the comments, if you like uh, the voiceover better or just my regular um, way I do my videos, let me know on that. Just thought I'd give this another try. That was Color Shift Blue Flash that I just added. Or, I'm sorry, Color Shift Blue Flash. The blues look so similar, sometimes it's hard to tell. Here's that ginger peach again. I've watched other artists that say it's better to use a combination of um, acrylic paints and then um, the uh, primary elements instead of using all primary elements. It gives the primary elements just something to, uh, I guess, attach to and hold on to or um, the combination of them, um, the results are better. That's that interference violet again that I've added. I'm just doing another layer of paints here. And that jasmine, that very, very pretty pink color is called jasmine. And I think I am using up my paints here. And there's that yellow rose again. I really did like the combination of these colors when I did my last pour. And again, I'm putting my topper on, on here again. And I do have to apologize right there. My doorbell rang, which I had to go take care of that so here I am back again and in the meantime I did put down a layer of the base coat all the way around 
on that canvas. And now I just took off the little, the, um, the bottle bottom there. And I'm going to start to use one of those palette knives. That's the one I chose. Just going to draw some paint out here, wiping off that little palette knife in between, in between each time I use it. Now I'm going to give this a spin. I just want to draw out some of the paint. Draw it out more towards the edge. Now I'm going to use that same palette knife and I'm just going to lightly draw it through all the petals of that flower, trying not to, to scrape down to the bottom of the canvas. And while I, I'm doing this, this is an Artist Loft um, canvas that I purchased at Michael's, and it is called the Paint Pouring Canvas. And it has a, an extra uh, layer behind the canvas of cardboard, more or less, a hard cardboard. And it really does keep the top of the canvas nice and sturdy and straight. No sagging or anything like that. I have used it before and uh, my painting dried great. Um, so if you'd like to check those out, they really are not that much more expensive than the regular canvases at Michael's. And it always helps to use a coupon. Here I am still just drawing that paint out. And it really does mix those colors well. And I want to say that palette knife set was maybe a little bit over $20. on Amazon. And now looking back at this uh, painting as I'm doing it, I almost wished I would have kept a little bit of my paints instead of using them all, all but one of the blue colors I had a little bit left, as you'll see in a little, a little bit here. But I, if I would have saved them all, I would have put a little bit more in the middle of that flower. I'm still drawing the paint out, and you have to be careful not to make it muddy. So I didn't want to draw it through too much. Now this is another one of those little tools. It looks like a little flat rake. And what I'm doing here is trying to add a little dimension into, that, into the middle of that flower there. Trying to draw in some of the paint. And again, I did, I did uh, watch Tammy Anderson of Tammy Anderson Art, and she actually used just about all of these tools in one of her videos. So if you get a chance, you may want to um, catch that video of hers because it does show the results of using just about all of these little palette knives. Just giving it a quick torch here. I'm 
another little spin, see what we get. I just want to make sure to take enough of the paint off. Now I really don't get any of the bloom um, cells or lacing with this, but I do really like the results I got. And here I am adding what I have left of my paints. And that may be the teal zircon from Primary Elements that I added there in the middle. Now I'm just drawing it out a little bit. And now I'm actually going around the center there with this little tool. As you can see, I just keep going around and around and making that larger it's almost like drawing a chain or a string or something like that through the paints and I went out probably about an inch and a half or so with that little tool And now I'm just going to give it another spin here. And um, please don't forget to um, like this video, share it, ring the bell, choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And here I'm picking up a little bit more of the extra paint and just putting it in the middle. Still working with that middle. I'm not quite happy with it. And now I'm going to work with that little tool again. Let's draw those colors around. Just trying to give the eye something nicer to look at there in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna give it another spin here. And you can see the wavy lines that drawing that little tool through about an inch and a half or so um, gave this painting. And here I'm just cleaning up this edge a little bit. Just making it a little more even there. And one last torch. I really was happy with how this turned out. I think it just, it's beautiful. As you'll see when I get you down for the close up.
And here we go down for the close-up. And this is the upper left-hand corner. And I don't think the camera does uh, this justice, how shiny it really is. It's just beautiful. See all the different effects that um, were made with those little palette knives? That's the lower left-hand corner. And the colors are just beautiful in here. This is up the middle. Trying to show you some of the, the shiny bits and pieces here. Again, I love the colors up in this area, the upper right hand corner. And coming up, this is this is my favorite area of the whole painting in here. Just the way the colors um just played so well with each other in here. It's beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, give me a thumbs up if you did. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.